And now Jama Gramona is going to explain or how can we introduce biodynamics in our uh, cava, our uh, champagne. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for allowing me to be here and share my experience as a company and also my personal experience because it began as a personal experience. The first time I heard the word biomimetics was in, Ch in Chile and I was there to know what uh, was going on abroad. And there were, I was in a wine cellar which was constructed uh, according to biomimetics. And this, uh, uh, sometimes it sounds like a little bit esoteric, but I, I met there Claude and Lydia Bourguignon who are really uh, into this thing. And they apply different techniques so that we can evolve. We evolved from a conventional architecture into an integrated uh, agriculture. And for the coming years, we are going to include biodynamics. It's a slow process. We have, there's no rush. And in order to define what I'm going to talk about, well, biodynamics, it's based on nature observation. And even though well, as much knowledge as we have, we won't uh, be as good as nature. So basically, what we have to do is to observe nature and see how can we go back to our origins. We have to find a balance through different programs we are engaged in, programs based on biodiversity on the soil and microorganisms who are, which are working for us and we are not aware of that. There's another uh, university working on um, flora. And maybe our country is a little bit crazy, but uh, about 50 years ago, there were around 50,000 worms per hectare. And nowadays, it's not even 5,000. It's, uh, well, worms, it's a bug which uh, eat uh, soil. And it's a good index of, of the state of uh, the soil, if the soil needs oxygen or other elements because uh, worms allow through its different uh, caves to um, the root to, well, to take root and all this kind of, of stuff. So, well, this process is really complex. And uh, we should actually unify all these elements that the human being has been separating in the last uh, years. And uh, wine is uh, now produced on a large scale. So we have to unify the farm and the winery and the human being. And we work always through research institutes, uh, universities such as the University in Barcelona or in Tarragona, Mr. Torra here, uh, whose family is also very engaged in this area. And in this moment, I think it's very hard for us to say, but we are an example of sustainability in whole Europe. In France, for instance, when uh, enologists meet and they held a conference, they are really are, uh, they think our work is really advanced when we present our projects. And our projects have been awarded with special distinctions. I think also sometimes it's very hard to move on this, on this direction because we are a family-run uh, business. And I can tell you that it's not an easy thing. It's not a piece of cake. But uh, we are very happy with this 
way of working and living, and it's all about finding the right people to work with. We are in this, uh, working in this area, not for a long time, but we hope it will be very fruitful. Thank you very much.